are here, you are seated on this side, your enemy is seated on that side, yet you proclaim you are a child of God. Why are we full of stress these days? People with moods are not socially blessed. They don't love themselves, therefore, they find it very difficult to love others. When you love yourself, even if according to the standards of men you are not the most beautiful woman, when you pass, your step, the way you dress yourself, the way you look after yourself, oh my God, everybody will begin to believe that you are the most beautiful person. For some of these things, you don't have to wait for a man, if you are a woman, to come and tell you that you are beautiful. You just have to tell yourself, oh my God, when God was making me, oh my God, he had not born on leave. He was still with much vigor. He was still with much interest. He was still so excited. And then he made a product called me. This is the only thing that is being used by these so-called celebrities. They are just people who discovered who they are. They believe in themselves. Then they dress the best they can. And then they take a walk, they take a picture in a magazine, they pause and put a beautiful smile, and then all of you, you begin to run after their style. Why? They just believe in themselves. They love themselves. Hey, if you change your style of dressing, if you change your step, the community where you are coming, whether you are coming from Makokoba, they will begin to say, there goes our Makokova celebrity. Competition is like a disease. Why do we have women who are now uh, injecting themselves and taking these pills to look lighter in complexion? They don't believe in themselves. They don't have confidence. My sister here, stand up Mendy. When God was making Mendy, he said, on a darker skin, no. On a lighter skin, yes. People with bitterness can't correct it effectively. They leave you bitter. What type of a relationship are you having with God as a believer? I always ask myself, if you are a giver, you do everything out of love. Do you know payment of lobola? It's a sign you are a giver. If you love a sister, you don't say, sister, I love you without paying lobola for the sister. Ah, you girls, you want to go for free? Today I challenge you, in the name of Jesus, why would a heathen with demons say to me with the Holy Spirit? No, it can't. If I arrive at a place, even if I'm small in board stature, they must say, Mama, how are you? They must say, Sister, how are you? At least they have shown some respect. I go now, Jack. Hi. <laughs> From today, you girls, when you see a brother coming to you and says, I love you, ask them, how much is in your bank account? Because you don't want to waste time with a person without a bank account. This person wants to marry. He doesn't even have a bed. He doesn't have a bank account. Ah, what do you love me for? You are still living in your mother's house, yes, yet you want to love me. God forbid. For you to be breathing, God gave this morning. For you to be just standing, you are not sick, God gave you health. Stinginess does not pay. Do you know payment of lobola? It's a sign you are a giver. But we have so many stingy men who cannot pay lobola for their wives. Stingy people, they don't want to pay for anything. Girlfriend for free. Take to be wife for free. When they come to church, they don't want to give offering. These are the same people. They see offering basket, they give their bags. You must refuse such a, such a life, hallelujah. I refuse to be ordinary. I refuse to just walk and people will see me as a common woman. When I walk, there must be a presence 
of some sort around me. I must carry a certain stature. 